Hi there, Jan Barthelemy here. At Lidu, we're on a mission to help our customers to activate their passive website visitors, convert them into leads, and understand the buyer behaviors of what impacted those conversions. Ultimately, we aim to turn your website into your best performing sales channel. In this video, I'd like to dive into the information that we have in the conversion dashboard. This will give you incredible visibility and insights into the conversations happening on your website, what is influencing them to convert or not convert, as well as tracking the journeys that influenced those conversions. Let's take a look at the dashboard. As you can see here on the dashboard, you've got lots and lots of information around what's happening on your website with the conversion tools you have. On the right side, uh, right hand side here, you can see the number of identified companies with our company identification uh, tool, as well as all the different many amount of times the um, bots have been triggered. Now this is a number, a very high number, because this is data from leadu.com from the past year. You can also see the discussions that people have entered into and the number of leads that have actually, um, or the conversions that have happened from those discussions. On the left hand side, you can see all your best performing bots or most confer converting bots. It's a good way to have a reference to see what is working best and what's not. Um, so that's a really good list to refer to. Further down here, you can see the different patterns across the year in terms of leads and discussions and triggers. This is a good tool to be looking at to identify patterns when it comes to increases in web traffic based on a lot of the campaigns you may be running on your website. Um, then on the left-hand side here, you've got the actual most converting pages. So this is particularly relevant if you're pushing um, people to specific landing pages on your website. Where, the, where those tools actually appear. On the right-hand side, you can see the amount of passive uh, visitors engaged, so the number of triggers to discussions, and then on the, uh, further to the right, actually how many leads have been uh, created from those triggers. Then finally, we talk about the source insights and the journey insights. The source insights is really understanding granular a granular level of understanding on what is impacting those conversions. What is the marketing that's impacting those conversions? Anything from that first touch through to the nurturing phase through to the last touch. On the right-hand side with the journey insights, you can see on leader.com, on average, from the first time they approach our website to the point where they actually convert, there is about an 18-day gap, three touch points, and on average, they're visiting four different pages. So there you have it a good snapshot into what's happening with your conversion tools on the Lead conversion dashboard.